Welcome to GT Tools shortcut training video. Throughout the course of this video, a manual icon may appear, which is a notification to consult your manual for more details. The shortcut is manufactured using only the highest grade aluminum and stainless steel components. It's also situated on a large curved vacuum cup that serves as a foundation for maximum hold and torque. Equipped on the shortcut is a durable brass vacuum pump that when attached should be pumped until the red line indicator is not showing. An air release valve opposes the pump and can be used to release the tool from the glass. The shortcut features a 7 16 locking 304 stainless steel drive shaft that hold the line or wire during the cutting process. When the tool needs to be advanced to a new position, the pawl lever can disengage the locking mechanism to unspool enough cord or wire to move the tool. Also equipped is a 304 stainless steel pulley that can accept cord or wire materials. Finally, the shortcut features a shield plate that prevents damage and wear to the tool when using wire cutting materials. The shortcut also features a tracking spindle design. When connecting the cord or wire to the shortcut, simply slide the material under the suction cup handle and through one hole in the spindle, then back through the corresponding hole. Allow slack for multiple wraps on the spindle. Glass Technology manufactures a full line of auto glass cutting wire and cord materials that are ideal for different vehicles makes and models. During the cutting process, Glass Technology has protection shields that can be used to protect the interior garnish moldings. Identify and disconnect the windshield wiper fluid line from the washer fluid tank. To begin, remove the windshield wipers from the windshield wiper posts. This removal process will vary based on the make and model of the vehicle. Next, remove any cowling to access the bottom side of the windshield. Remove any interior hardware, including the rear view mirror, which can impede the cutting process if not removed. With vehicles that have access along the bottom cowling, Glass Technology recommends pre-cutting the bottom driver's side corner with a reciprocating auto glass cutout power tool, as shown here. This allows for easy installation of the quarter wire material. Make sure to cut at least two inches up the A-pillar and two inches across the dash when pre-cutting the corner. Insert the T-handle tool and attach the quarter wire approximately six inches from the end of the material into the notch located on the side of the T-handle. Pull the cord or wire into the vehicle. Next, we will attach the rubber anchor stop to the cord or wire. For a visual demonstration, this is how the cord or wire is attached to the tool.
Start by attaching the rubber anchor stop to the quarter wire leading from the interior driver's side corner to the exterior of the vehicle and across the hood area. To do this, push the quarter wire through the hole in the rubber wedge, then through the hole in the aluminum knurled rod. Then the quarter wire can be wrapped or looped around the aluminum rod. Pull all the slack out of the material so the aluminum rod seats inside the back channel of the rubber wedge. Check the pinch weld channel to make sure that it is clear of any clips, debris, or excess urethane that would prevent the cord or wire from being seated deeply in the channel below the glass. If there are any clips, debris, or excess urethane, remove them before proceeding to the next step. Next, insert the cord or wire into the pinch weld channel around the windshield until you're back to the starting point in the bottom driver's side corner. Make sure that all the material is seated below the glass. Many newer vehicle makes and models have reduced or eliminated the amount of molding coverage around the vehicle, which is ideal for the shortcut, as the cutting process reduces the likelihood of vehicle body damage compared to traditional windshield cutting methods. Before inserting the second end of the material, pull enough cord or wire to extend up to the mounting position of the shortcut in the upper driver's side corner of the vehicle. Add an additional one foot of cord or wire for slack. Now cut the cord or wire. Insert the T-handle next to the first insertion point. Attach the cord or wire approximately six inches from the end of the material into the notch located on the side of the T-handle. Pull the quarter wire into the vehicle. Make sure not to insert the T-handle in a position that would cause the cord or wire to be crossed. Take the second quarter wire that runs from the interior of the vehicle to the exterior and up the A-pillar of the driver's side and attach it to the shortcut. Insert the cord or wire under the shortcut handle and through either hole in the spindle. Then back through the corresponding hole in the spindle as shown earlier. Now position the cord or wire around the pulley and wind up any additional slack by turning the spindle. Next, attach the shortcut to the upper driver's side corner of the vehicle with the pulley positioned approximately one to two inches from the corner. Start by attaching the swivel ratchet with 7 16 socket to the shortcut. Start ratcheting the shortcut spindle which will begin the cutting process. Note that glass technology recommends ratcheting through corner areas and running a high torque low speed drill through the straight areas.
Once the quarter wire has cut to the top of the driver side A pillar, remove the tool and disengage the spindle by pressing the pawl lever. This will allow the spindle to unwind the cord or wire material so that the tool can be repositioned into the top passenger corner. Next, attach the ratchet and continue cutting until the quarter wire has cut through the top driver's side corner. A drill can now be used to cut across the headliner of the vehicle until it reaches the upper passenger corner of the windshield. Now remove the tool and disengage the spindle by pressing the pawl lever. This will allow the spindle to unwind cord or wire material so that the tool can be repositioned and attached in the bottom passenger corner of the windshield. Now ratchet through the passenger top corner. Then a drill can be used to cut down the passenger A pillar. Once the quarter wire has cut to the bottom of the passenger A pillar, remove the tool and disengage the spindle by pressing the pawl lever. This will allow the spindle to unwind the quarter wire material so that the tool can be repositioned into the bottom driver's side corner. Attach the ratchet and continue cutting until the quarter wire has cut through the bottom passenger corner. Now a drill can be used to cut across the bottom of the windshield to the driver's side bottom corner. Unspool and reuse any cord material on your next job. Thank you for watching the shortcut training video. Be sure to reference GT Tools shortcut training manual for additional details.